Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tom and today we're going to take a look around our 2014 Golf R. <laughs> when I'm talking to him... I didn't realise I just did your night night. Yeah, put it down. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Tom here, and today we're gonna to take a look at our manual Golf R. So I think everyone knows the Golf R. We love these cars here. Normally, we try and buy the DSG cars because they seem much more popular, but in actual fact, a more unusual car is the manual version, which this is. It's a Mark 7. it's a 2014 car. I actually bought the car from the first owner who had it from new and picked some nice options on it which I'll run through and then I'll talk to you a little bit about the modifications that have been carried out to bring this car together so let's take a look okay so on the outside we've got optional white paint we've also got Pretoria style 18 inch wheels with Michelin PS4 tires um, we've got the keyless go keyless entry option on the car we've also got privacy glass and in terms of appearance, that's, that's probably it. Also got some uprated brakes, so we've got some EBC uh, yellow stuff pads and some groove discs. And then moving inside, we have the winter pack, which includes heated seats. Uh, we have retrim steering wheel, which is leather Alcantara finish on it. We've got navigation system, and we've got the R-Line cloth interior. But aside from that, it's pretty much what you expect from a Mark 7 Golf R. Of course, manual gear shift, which is quite unusual, and some people like that more than a DSG. It's also a pre-particulate filter car, which I know there was the, in 2019, they went to the particulate filters, and also 2018, I think, was the last of the 305 horsepower model cars. So again, some people prefer the slightly earlier cars, but what sets this car apart is it's actually got a stage two Revo upgrade package, which includes downpipe, intercooler, air intake, and that boosts power up to 400 horsepower. So I think without further ado, we'll go up the road and see how the car drives. But this car is stage two Revo, which is downpipe intake, um, colder spark plugs, but he's also upgraded the brakes, discs and pads and replaced the clutch. Also, be careful when you buy a Golf R that the plastic water pump has been replaced or at least inspected. There's a little knowledge nugget for you but we've had to replace a couple of them now even on very low mileage 2018 cars. Um, it seems to be an issue. Well it is an issue and they're not very good they're not very good quality and then they leak and that's a big headache and a big cost you need one thousand pounds to replace this small plastic water pump so disappointing anyway back to this car 2014 mark 7 stage 2 uh, some nice options it's got like the winter pack which is heated seats um, I think it's heated washer jets and uh, headlamp washers as well uh, optional white pure white I think optional paint color it's got keyless entry keyless go which is really nice just walk up to it handle the door handle in your pop press start button away we go we've got the R uh, cloth Alcantara seats in really really nice condition because the chap pretty much drove everywhere on his own and he had a little cushion on the seat to protect it and the steering wheel has been redone so the, the interior has got no signs of wear whatsoever and it has only done 28,000 miles even though it is a 14. The car's also got the Pretoria style wheels in 18 inch. These cars, personally I feel, they handle a lot better on the 18s. Everyone loves the 19s because of the way they look, but handling wise, 18s for me, 100%. So maintenance on these is pretty straightforward, regular oil changes, you then, if it's a DSG car, the DSG oil is every 40k I believe, and there's also Haldex oil to change. Just make sure the car's been serviced well and looked after, because there are a lot of these cars around and some of them have been mistreated. 
suited. Okay, so in the Golf R, got various driving modes, comfort, normal, race, eco, individual. Um, there we go. And now we're up to temperature nicely, done a few miles. The stage two package takes the car to about 400 horsepower. They say between 380, 420, depending on what supporting mods you put on. Uh, they said the upgraded clutch, as I said, which is quite important when you're trying to handle this much power. And we shift down, go down to third gear, 3,500 RPM. Wow, <laughs> that's way more responsive than I remember it. You may have seen our other video, the RS6, I've just driven that, and that's brutally, brutally fast. But the difference is this car is so much lighter and manual, but the response is so sharp. Really impressive. Let's go again. That's fourth gear. Really nice map. The, the Revo power delivery is, is lovely. I always thought that on the Focus Mark III's that the Revo map was good. Um, when you compare it to the Seven Mountain Tune 375 on those cars. We did have a Mountain Tune 52 tuned one of these uh, recently. DSG car. Spin around.